the eviction issue really hit the mainstream with the book Evicted um, by Matthew Desmond. And what I like to say is it's a really good book. Um, but if you really dig down into it, um, it focuses on um, an aspect of the rental market that, um, you know, investment grade apartments operators don't operate in. Um, it's really folks that were avoiding um, taking Section 8 so that they weren't subject to um, subject to inspections, um, you know, individual owners that maybe owned a, a property or two. Um, and then um, it also took a place in manufactured housing. Um, so it's not something that is um, necessarily replicable to the entirety of the, of the rental market. However, um, they are very sad and compelling stories. And at the end of the day, all it takes is to read one sad and compelling story um, to move somebody's opinion. Um, and so that's what we've seen crop up in a lot of these news articles. Um, and so as a researcher, you know, um, you and I, Jay, both have spent a lot of time looking at the eviction tsunami. My question always is, what is a tsunami? And I think honestly, a tsunami may be five sad stories in a news article. Um, and so, you know, what I always try to combat um, those stories with is not acknowledging that they don't happen, but try to explain that there are a lot of good things that our, our operators are doing. Um, and it, that, um, you know, the stories in Evicted are not representative of um, the investment grade apartment universe. Um, and that the operators have tried to help throughout COVID. Um, they, you know, were working with local charities, they were offering payment plans. Um, and sometimes it is a, a benefit that they are larger because they can um, make more exceptions off of those payment plans.